hiking is such a diverse sport. Like there's so much to it. I mean, you can have like a casual fun day out with friends and family on, on a lake and just have a picnic on the water or you go the complete opposite end and go down 13 foot waterfalls and rapids. So I was born with proximal femoral focal deficiency. So I'm missing my femur, my tibia, my uh, patella, and then the hip on my left side isn't fully developed, so I don't have the ball and socket. So literally the only way that my leg is attached to my body is through muscle and skin. I don't want people to think of me as Kelly with a disability. I just want people to think of me as Kelly. I grew up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan where I was the youngest of four. So my parents needed to get us out of the house some way so they bought some kayaks. All my siblings are extremely active um, so it just kind of made sense for me to be active. There's an event called the Extremity Games for people with disabilities. Um, they like to kind of compare it to like the X Games but for my kind of people. One of the sports that I thought eh, I could probably do, you know, it looks cool, was kayaking. So I took one kayaking lesson and then I've won the Extremity Games both men and women's division for the past five years and yeah, I've just basically been in a boat ever since. When I was born, the doctors I like popped out. They had no idea what was going on, and uh, they they basically told my parents, um, you know, with this condition, there's she has potential, but we don't know how much. So my parents weren't sure if I was gonna be able to sit up or stand, let alone get in a boat and hopefully become a future Paralympian. They sat down with my siblings when I was born, and they said, "This is Kelly. She's your sister. She has this condition." but she's your sister, first and foremost. So I think that was the greatest thing that my parents have ever done was they didn't treat me as their disabled child, they treated me as their child. I get a lot of, you know, the just public staring, which I totally understand. It's, it's human nature to be curious about something different. I was grocery shopping, a thing that I think is a normal everyday occurrence for everyone and a woman actually took me aside and grabbed my hand and told me how amazing it was that I was out in society doing normal people things. And I mean I totally understand that she had a good intention at heart but in my opinion everyone has disabilities in life. Um, mine is just a little more obvious and I try to make it a little more colorful but you know I just try to look at the positives in life all the time because I mean if I reflect upon negatives like that would just suck. Like, why, who wants to do that? I just like to be a ball of energy and fun. I would much rather um, like be in a boat having fun than sitting in, inside my house crying because I only have one leg, you know? Like, who wants to live life like that? I like to think that I put out positive energy into the world. I mean, I don't like to be called an inspiration, but if someone feels inspired by this, that's cool. Uh, the fact that I work with uh, disabled veterans and the fact that I'm able to give something back to them is honestly the greatest achievement I think I'll ever have in my life. If I'm able to give those newly wounded men and women a little hope in life that hey life isn't over, this silly little girl can do it, so can I. And you know if I can change one of their lives for the sacrifice that they made for me, uh, I can go to bed happy. I'm a very strong advocate of life is what you make it. I think if you have a positive attitude and if you surround yourself with positive energy, um, life can be pretty great. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're missing a leg or your hair is a different color, or anything, just simple things. If you just make life what you want it to be. And so I think if you just surround yourself with positive energy and get out there and just do things, you know, life will be okay. <laughs>